What's going on YouTube? Quinn here. Today we are cleaning a pair of BBC Human Races. Super cool shoe. With all Human Races though, always a little concerned about bleeding and making sure we're taking care of the stitching. Our director of sales, Akil, wore these for a while. Uh, so you can see he got them super trashed. He has a toddler like I do, so chances are she just dragged him around and they just got dirty naturally. We're gonna use our advanced three brush laundry kit today because it is a knit shoe. We do want it to go through the laundry system and get out all the lock dirt. I'm also gonna spray it with some deodorizer. We'll talk more about that later. It's a product not a lot of people know we have, um, but it's super cool to use, especially with summer coming. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna dry brush the shoe. I don't always do this. Um, sometimes I do it just to make sure that you get a lot of the extra dirt off. It's kind of dusty. We live in Arizona, so you're gonna get that. We can get a lot of the dirt off just by getting this thing dry brushed. Now that it's been dry brushed, we're gonna start by taking out the laces. These are white laces, so we are gonna wanna make sure that these are cleaned later. These are cool laces. I just noticed this for the first time, but on the end here, it's kind of got a red, yellow, and blue uh, stripes to match the shoe. I always like when shoe companies do that. I think it's cool. All right. So first things first, we're gonna insert our shoe tree. So I always mention, it's really important to have this in for two reasons. One, when you put it in the washing machine, it ensures the shoe keeps its form. Uh, and I put it a little tight. Um, you wanna make sure you don't put these in too tight because it can cause sole separation. So it's kind of a big deal. You wanna make sure that they're snug, but not squeezed in there. There you go, much better. The other thing it does, it creates a nice hard surface for scrubbing the shoe with our water and solution. There's a lot of locked in dirt there in the, in the fabric. So having the shoe tree in there really makes it way more effective. So now we're gonna start scrubbing the shoe. First things first, just put in a couple squirts of our advanced cleaning solution. Remember it is concentrated, so a little bit goes a long ways. You don't need to go crazy. I like to get the shoe really soaked Make sure you get all of the dirt that's locked in there loose. And I'm watching right now for bleeding and I don't see any, so that's really good. It's always a concern when you have a lot of different dyes on fabrics, different materials. If you're cleaning a shoe and you're not sure if it bleeds or not, just hit us up. We'll be happy to help you. We answer those questions all day long and chances are we've probably already cleaned a shoe, the exact shoe or a shoe a lot like it. Now we're gonna to move to our medium bristle brush. Let's go ahead and wipe the shoe down a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, looks pretty dirty. This boost material sometimes can be a pain to clean. So we'll see, hopefully all the dirt comes off this time. The washing machine will really help when it comes to getting that boost cleaner. I know they make pens and things like that for it, but to be honest, um, we've tested all that stuff. It's not really effective. It's messy or it comes off right away. I can see there's some spots on the midsole here on the boost that just look like there's black marks on them. I'm gonna try and hit it one more time, very lightly with our stiff bristle brush just to make sure we don't do any damage, just to see if I can get them to come loose. So one of the nice things about having three brushes is that you can use the right tool for the job. Sometimes if you have a stain that won't come out, something like that, that's why we make a stiffer brush so that you can really get in there and, and get it loose. Yeah, It's a little better, uh, but to be honest, marks like the black marks on the boost, man, they are, they are hard to get out sometimes. So, And we are gonna move on to our sole. Whenever I clean my shoes, I always clean the soles. Some people don't, they think it's a waste of time. I figure, heck, if you're gonna clean your shoes, you might as well just do it all at once. Um, so I am gonna hit those right now. So I got the overall shoe pretty much done. There are some spots on the midsole on the boost area that are just being a pain and won't come out. So we're gonna see if the laundry uh, system gets those clean, so that'll be good. The uppers overall look pretty dang good. No bleeding, no issues. So I'm really happy. 
Now we're gonna move on to cleaning that lace. Again, as I mentioned, it's got kind of a cool design thing going on with it. So we wanna make sure we get that nice and clean for these. So these are nice and soaked. You can see the dirt coming off them right now. I like to scrub them with a soft bristle brush just to get a, the added uh, clean to them before we put them in the laundry system. Usually helps. Again, it just depends on the lace. Some laces are more important than others. I don't have to tell you guys. This is one of those that you'll want to hold on to. So yeah, looks pretty good. All right, now I always make sure that I secure the laces before I put them in the laundry bag inside the shoe. And I try to put them as deep as possible because I don't like them coming loose inside the laundry bag. It doesn't hurt anything. Just want to make sure that I don't lose them. So those are secured inside there. Now let's go ahead and put them inside our laundry bag. Okay, so now that the shoe's in the laundry bag, cinch it down tight. And remember that there is a lock here. So you always wanna make sure that's in the down position to make sure that the shoe doesn't come loose inside the washing machine. Typically it doesn't hurt much, but better safe than sorry. Here you go. So those are all cinched up. Now we're gonna take these and we are gonna put them inside the washing machine using our sneaker laundry detergent. Now that the pre-treat is done, we are gonna throw these BBCs into the washing machine. Unscrew the lid, and if you squeeze our laundry detergent, it automatically fills up the chamber here. For one shoe, we're not gonna need a full ounce, so I'll do just do a half an ounce here. You can pour it right on top of the shoe. Again, it's not gonna hurt much since it rinses out in the washing machine. Mine's an automatic washer, so I don't select size load. Just pick normal, cold water always, never wash on hot or warm. And if you have the option, choose the water plus button. Hit start, and there you go. Now we'll wait for this to finish. All right, guys, so we let these dry overnight and I cannot be happier on how they turned out. This is why I love our product. This is what it can do. The right pair of shoes, man, they just come out looking so clean. We used our advanced three brush laundry kit and sneaker laundry detergent. And again, it goes back to why we make this stuff because it really is designed to get your shoes clean. We don't try it out on other products. We've tested it on everything. And honestly, these are the results. There are a few areas on the Boost that wouldn't come out. Boost is funny that way. You guys, I'm sure have noticed it. It yellows over time, it gets dirty. Sometimes it's hard to get clean. It definitely lightened up a lot of the black spots, but there are still some in there. They're not coming out. All the products we use today can be found in reshoebinator.com. If you look in the description down below, there is a promo code to save you some cash. Keep in mind, every month we also give away a dope pair of shoes, off-whites, fear of gods, all kinds of stuff, but you have to be subscribed to be eligible to win. So make sure you subscribe below. Thanks for watching.